Jordan, you can only go to the pool so many days and sometimes the kids get tired or they say, it's too hot outside, we don't want to do anything. Well, we're into science, of course, yes. and we like teaching folks and especially the kids. And I think this is something that they would really enjoy. Okay, this is, uh, this is really cute. It is a lava lamp. Now, I'm gonna go ahead really quickly and just show you what it, ha what it looks like when you put in the Alka-Seltzer. And I'll explain how to do this in just a second. But it is oil and water, and when you put the Alka-Seltzer in there, the change in density, it kind of makes it look like a little lava lamp, doesn't it? How really cute cool. is that? So yeah. very, very easy for the kids to do, and I think they'll just be mesmerized as we are. Yeah, so. I like the green color too. So I have blue, I have some food cuts, yes. very easy to make. So for the kids, I've got the blue flute coloring. Just so look. I'm gonna tell you a little trick because mm -hmm. there is a little trial and error, or at least on my part. So, so I initially grabbed baby, or not baby oil, that would actually probably be the best because it's the clearest, mm -hmm. but I brought initially when we were practicing olive oil, olive oil, and it was too yellow that you couldn't really see the color of the food coloring. So I'm gonna use vegetable oil this so time. Lighter oil, good. Lighter, but again, baby oil would probably be the best. So what you're gonna do is you're going to Here's add the food coloring into the water already. It's gonna make it a little bit easier. And Got he's it. already done it's that. Already that so but it's before blue. you pour that in, we're gonna do the oil first. Okay. So you wanna pour most of the way okay. up the mason jar. This. And you could do any size mason jar, but you wanna make sure you have enough oil. So okay. yeah, just go ahead and fill the rest up. You probably wanna do two thirds, but with the practice, it's I already good, ran though. out. Yeah. So we're gonna make it work. We're gonna uh, make do. So the oil and then water. So we're thinking scientifically, Jordan. So oil would be less dense, right? I think so. Let's try it. We pour in the water, and of course, it's got the food oh, color. Oh, not all the way! <gasps> oh, I'm very dangerous <laughs> oh, no. in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, hold I on didn't a spill. Look. We need to uh, transfer a little. Kay. Hopefully, this doesn't make a mess. That's Look so at that, funny. Look at that, y'all. You it. are great. Okay. okay. So, uh, I hope this works now because we just mixed it and then dumped it out. Anyway, TV for you. So, what you're going to do now that you have your mixture, uh -huh. you're going to add an Alka-Seltzer because right, uh, it's going to create the bubbles. So, let's see here. So, it might take a, a minute or so to kind of really get it going, so but it actually does look like a little Oh, it's attaching? Lamp. It is. Okay. It's attaching. So, basically, the Alka-Seltzer has carbon dioxide bubbles in it, and even though the water is more dense than the oil it's bringing it to the surface and allowing it to pop so that's that's your science there so uh, teaching the kids the different compositions and the density so we know oil's lighter water is heavier and then with the carbon dioxide do we have any more alka-seltzer i love these not. things gosh okay that's oh we a, have a piece here yeah let's put let's more in there i want to see that so the water's okay. attaching to that all right and it's yeah it's it's moving it's moving. so again so. trial and error he added it to the top. The mixture was already made, and we dumped some out. And because of that, some of the oil moved. Well, it did. Out yeah, of I it. kind of so, made it a little messy, but yeah, yeah if you do it uh, without overfilling it like I did, it would be even a much brighter. But if this is doing good, it, I think the kids would be happy with it. It's still cool. Yeah. So again, you yes. want to do about two thirds of the way of oil first, and then have your mixture of the food coloring in the mm -hmm. water, and so then we pour that cups. in about to, to where you have like an inch left. Not all the way to the top. All right, I know. <laughs> I just have to, <laughs> I have to kick him a little. Okay, and then you just drop in the Alka Seltzer, and actually you can continue to add because it's the bubbles are going to stop once the Alka Seltzer is fully dissolved. But you can keep adding them, and it'll keep working. Okay, yes. take a look at this really quickly. It's getting Chris, there. Our director, Chris. You can kind of see. Let me turn it over. You can kind of see those little those little balls there at the top. Yeah. Um, moving. Oh, gosh, I wish you could see it from our perspective. It does look it's a little, little harder bit better. To see on TV, but yes. But yeah, if we had another Alka Seltzer. Just just drop it back in, it would start all over again, and you can do this as many times as you like. So, More, so have fun with the kids yeah. this summer, and that does include science, because as we know, science rocks, and then I can make sure I bring this home to Jill. My wife's been looking for the food coloring. Oh, yeah, sorry well, about we, that. We Thank do you. science at work. Yeah, so. thanks, Julie. Yes. Um, and of course, we'll have this on our website and a lot more on firstcoastliving.net. And we so. want to hear from you, yeah. okay? If you have any little fun indoor activities you can do with kids, maybe some science experiments, share them, and maybe Jordan and I, you can help us work through those and we'll do some more this summer. Yes, so I, I've been looking for a couple things on Pinterest. This was one of those things. Mm -hmm. And uh, hey, if it works or not, we're going to let you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> And if you'd like to see this segment again, just head to our website, firstcoastliving.net.